Monomalin has never had a fate before, and it seemed a good idea to the organizers to open it with Tim being buried alive in a local Raheen or fairy fort. The trouble was, who was going to dig the grave? Well, certainly not the men of Monomalin themselves. Turn one sod of that fort, they said, and you'll never have a day's luck. There's not a man in the village would dare to touch it. I'm a poor man, and I want money the worst way. And I'll tell you the truth, if you give me a thousand pound tomorrow morning, I wouldn't dig a spit with a spade in it. Well, what about, what about the fairy field now, where they've changed it to? The fairy field and the rahin is all the same to me. I wouldn't meddle with it. And God between us and all harm, I don't want to see anyone around here meddling with it. That, with that enchanted place. Peter Bryan isn't alone in his fear of the power of the wee people. So Tim Hayes faced a dilemma. Where was he going to get men to dig the grave for him? Obviously, he'd have to seek them out among his own workmates at Cork Dockyard. Tim, why do you want to go down in a fairy fort? I just want to prove to the whole world that there's no such a thing as a fairy. You're a man who obviously doesn't believe oh, in fairies. I don't fairies. believe in fairies, although I've been warned by several people not to go down, not even to go near the fairy fort. In fact, I had a letter from a widow from Douglas in Cork last night, and she said she saw a fairy 30 years ago, and she hadn't an hour's look since. I think that's only a show. You're not going to take any notice no, of it No, I'm not going to take any notice of it. But you see, there are a lot of people like that widow woman you were talking about who who do honestly believe in this. Isn't that so? Oh, definitely. In fact, my mother believes in it, and my uncles, and all down outside Middleton, there's a few fairy forts, and they wouldn't even go up around us. Well, you know, of course, that in Wexford they've had difficulty in finding anybody to dig the grave for you. That's right. I have two chaps from Cove here. And um, obviously, like yourself, they, they don't oh, believe they in it. Oh, they don't believe in it. In fact, a few of my... a few of the dockyard workers here said they'd uh, dig it for me. Let me put this to you, Tim. In going into graves like this and burying yourself in the ground, there's a risk in this always, oh, isn't there? Oh, there's an awful risk in it, really. I mean, the way I got down, there was no one never went down in the conditions I went down under. Well, are you not pushing your luck a bit? risking the fairies as well no, on I top of this. Of course I am, but there's no such a thing as a fairy. <laughs>